All right, hello there everybody. Welcome back to another video. Uh, got something a little bit different for you guys today. Taking a day off from doing anything and just hanging out at the beach. It's a beautiful day here. We're at our uh, secret little spot here. There's not, a, there's not a soul here with us. It's pretty nice. Uh, this place has changed quite a bit since I was here Oh, a year and a half ago maybe. We had a pretty pretty large hurricane that moved quite a bit of stuff around. It's, it's almost unrecognizable, but still enjoyable nonetheless. I'm just uh, out in the water here, climbed up on a rock. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna do some uh, sea bass fishing. That's, that's what I'm up to. But there was a, uh, a seal hanging out just right here as you saw in the beginning of the video there. So I'm just waiting for him to pop up again. I, I'm hoping I can get some, some good footage of him. He's rather cute, so. The water is rather brown from that large rainstorm we had just the other day there. Usually this place is crystal clear, but not today. I was planning on doing some uh, snorkeling with my, uh, my underwater camera there. There's all sorts of neat critters that hang out around these parts, especially around the uh, the rocks in the water there. There's baby lobsters and uh, crabs, smaller fish as well. It's pretty interesting. I, I never really filmed anything under there, but I, I've been under there more than enough times to know what's there. Uh, anyways, we won't be able to do that today. I don't think I'll be able to see anything in that murky water. I don't think it'd be too enjoyable anyways, but it's quite the spot here. I'll show you when we're headed back, but there's all sorts of crystal caves. Uh, I'm not sure if they're gypsum or uh, another mineral, but they're, they're pretty to look at. There's one there. We'll get closer in a little bit here. Gonna hang out and wait for Mr. Seal to resurface for air. Well, I didn't bring my tripod or anything, so it's gonna be rather difficult to film myself fishing, but I'll, I'll throw a few casts out here and if I catch anything, I'll try and get some footage of that. But I've taken my fair share of uh, striper from here, sea bass as they're also called, but uh, they're, they're rather plentiful. Maybe not this time of year, it's usually late August, early September. You'll, uh, you'll catch one almost every cast, but it's still fun to try. There's also flounder. They're, they're typically a bit further up there in the sandy area, but I haven't had any luck getting them. I've seen them under the water there snorkeling, but never been able to catch one. I think that'd be a pretty neat fish to uh, see up close, but anyways. It's low tide right now, so I can't stay on this rock for much longer, or I won't be able to get off of it, and uh, I won't be able to get off the beach either. Uh, you can you can go up through the woods there. There's a nice little goat path you can travel, but uh, you have to walk quite a few kilometers along the coast to uh, to get to this spot. Don't know if you can see over there. When the tide is low, it's not so bad, but. Once it's high, I, I put myself in some pretty uh, not good situations being here uh, at high tide and at uh, random random storms. I got I got stuck here once or twice. I had to uh, hide out and wait for the storm to clear. Uh, sometimes you can climb up the, the cliff sides there and get up into the woods and get yourself out, but when it's raining good, they get quite slippery and it's it's hard to scale them. But I've uh, I've been there before, and uh, I'd rather not put myself in that situation again. So as soon as I see the water level starting to go up a bit, or clouds rolling in, I'll I'll get off the rock here. But, but uh, our our seal friend just resurfaced around here, but I missed him. He was only up for a few seconds and went back under. I'll keep waiting. He's he's been hanging around this spot for. Oh, half hour, 45 minutes or so. So hopefully he's back, but he's getting further out. Uh, typically, not always, but typically when, when a seal is close to shore like this, it means that there's a shark 
uh, somewhere off in the ocean and they come closer to the shore to get away from it because the sharks can't go in uh, shallow water like this. But that, that's not necessarily what's happening here, but that is a possibility. We do have great whites in uh, these parts of the country, but they're, they're not a threat to humans anyways. I mean, maybe if you're snorkeling way out there, they might they might be interested in you, but no concern here. Well, I'll get my uh, my rod all set up here and chuck a few casts into the ocean there. Hopefully I get something. Uh, I'm not too sure though. Like I said earlier, the murky water affects things a little bit. I don't know if the fish will be able to see my lure, but I'm still going to try anyways. I'll, I'll let you know how that goes. Well, our, uh, our seal friend is back here. I'm just trying to find him. Oh, there he is. They're cute little things they are. Well, that's that. He's back to fishing, I suppose. I'm doing the same thing myself, but not having too much luck. The wind is pretty wicked right now, which is all right. It, it does catch my lure and chuck it out further, but it's also causing all this murky water. I don't know that I'll get anything, but I'll, I'll keep trying for a bit longer yet. Well, I'm not having much luck with the fishing up here, so let's go ahead and get off this rock, hopefully without ruining our camera. This is the fun part here. Leave my rod there for a second. Try and get down here. I don't remember how I got up. I'd jump in the water if I didn't have my camera on me, but that's not the case. Hmm, I'm gonna have to put it away, I think. There we go down off the rock now. Back into the water. It's not too deep or nothing, but there's the bottom. We'll go for a little walk here and find some firewood, make some supper. Hopefully it's not too windy for our uh, twig stove to work. I'll probably end up having to dig a hole in the sand here so that our stove will stay lit. But anyways, we'll take a walk to the big rock over here. That's about to fall soon. Beautiful day out. It'd be alright if it wasn't for the wind, but good luck finding a day on the ocean with no wind. That's near unheard of. I've only seen that a handful of times. You can see all the washout from that big rainstorm we had the other day there. Usually that's nice and smooth, but obviously all the water coming off the hills there. Now this large rock here, not even, not even two years ago, you were able to walk between the cliffside there and the rock. And uh, 
I don't know. Maybe there was a, a 50 inch opening or so. But now you can see there's a massive gap between the two that rock has moved quite a bit these past few years. Now, maybe it would have done that on its own despite the abnormal weather we've had, but I don't know. That seems like quite a bit of movement for a rock that size. But it was it was rather neat. There was a little cave you kind of had to crawl through to uh, get between the rock and the, the cliff here. We'll go check it out and see what's left. Now this, this rock has tilted like that. It used to be sitting kind of leaning leaning inwards. The top of it was touching there, but not anymore. See there's a small little cave in here. It doesn't lead anywhere, but Pretty beautiful sight. I don't know that the video does it much justice, but You can see all the, uh, the veins running through the cliffs here. This stuff is scattered all over the beach. Um, I'm not sure if it's gypsum. That's my best guess as to what it is. But I'll try and find a piece here to show you guys. Here's one here. It's very soft, but uh, that's what most of these cliff faces are made out of. You can see it breaks easily, just like that. But it, it ranges in color from uh, a yellowy white, well, I should say from, from pure white to yellowy white, all the way up to uh, an orange red tone. But it's rather interesting stuff. And again, I, I believe it's gypsum, but I'm no expert. There's all the uh, all the veins of it. It's pretty neat. Now this beach is maybe oh I don't know 50 50 or more kilometers long I would say, and uh, we're the only people here. Wonderful. I very much enjoy this spot. The woods here are nice as well. I haven't been up there in some time, but I used to uh, I used to enjoy hiking up there and uh, finding little spots to camp and hang out. Especially when you get up, not in this part necessarily, but Right over there, if it'll focus, you can climb up right to that cliff face and look out onto the ocean. It's, it's pretty nice. I hope you guys can hear me over all this wind. Anyways, firewood. I believe that's, that's what I was doing over here. Let's get back to that. I'll go take a look, see if I can't find some twigs and uh, get a little fire going. I just brought some uh, some mac and cheese craft dinner, <laughs> but that's good enough for me. I'll uh, I'll come back once we have our 
our fire going here. Here's some perfect fuel here for our twig stove. Nice and dry. Hard to do it with one hand, but we're getting a good bit of firewood anyhow. Oh, that's a bit rotten. Won't take that. Nope. Too soft. Driftwood will burn, but it's, it's not the best. Especially for our little twig stove. There's an old, uh, an old boy off a lobster trap. I'll bet you. There's a nice piece of mineral there. This stuff is all over the beach. If anyone knows what it is, feel free to let me know. I, I believe it's gypsum, but I've been wrong before. There's a cut log. Wonder how that ended up here. And uh, a bin, a bin from a fishing boat, it looks like. My hand's getting full here. Anyways, I'll, uh, I'll get some more twigs here and uh, we'll get supper going. Before we get the food going there, let's, uh, let's take a little walk over this way. Again, I hope you can hear me. The wind is pretty bad, but anyways. Now if you want to get up to the trail, you would, uh, you'd scale up here. Looks a bit scary, but it's more than doable. Here's some of these pretty crystal caves, people call them. It's quite the odd material. It's very soft. This here is new. This wasn't here two years ago. This was uh, this was one big solid piece of rock.
These rocks here get rather sharp. You wouldn't want to fall on one of them. While they are brittle, they'll, uh, they'll take the edge of a knife. Again, I wish this water wasn't so murky. It, uh, it's a lot prettier when it's crystal clear, but what can you do? Waves are getting quite big. Here's some more small caves. Quite the place, I tell you. Go ahead and head back now. Well, we've got the hole dug for the wood stove and our pile of twigs here. Let's go ahead and get that set up. Hopefully that's enough to stop the wind. A little bit difficult to do one-handed, but we'll get her. Grab our kindling here. 